previously on Windcraft. My name is Enzin, and I am now a retired knight. I spent most of my life fighting for Ragni's army, just like you. Well, to be fair, I just started. Oh, it added a new rapid fire thing. Okay. Ah! Oh, I can't do anything over the. What? Scam! Where do I go? And now we get to watch the pest die. Get him! Great job getting rid of that corrupt varmint. I can't thank you enough. You're welcome, man. Go, go, go! Open! Oh, what the heck? Emerald Pouch Tier 1? Corrupted Egg? I'm seriously getting, um... Uh... Dream SMP vibes from this. I won't lie to you. Take this ring. It's an accessory item. You can identify it at the nearby item identifier. Hey, everybody. My name is Awesome Gamer MG. That's me. And welcome back to another episode of Windcraft. This is episode three. And last time we left off, we uh, we got done with uh, Theric over there. Helping him get his special mushroom so he can work on this staircase, which has a chest and a key up there. Alright, I'll have to get that in a second. But in today's episode, we are going to try and do the Infested Plants quest and also the Sewers of Ragni. going to be setting up for the episode 5 stream. Once we do that quest, uh, the stream that I was talking about for episode 5 will commence on the... Uh, decrepit sewers dungeon. Oh, okay. Gotta. I can't open that chest until another two minutes. Well, that's lame. But yeah, so I did a lot of things off camera. As you may notice, I got a new bow. I actually crafted this myself. I went from level one to like level. What was it? That's not how you check. Uh. To level six in woodworking just by crafting this bow alone, and it was a lot better. I also got a legendary chest plate, which I'm going to put on right now. It's way better than the chest plate I currently have. And I got better boots and a better helmet. And I still can't wear the pants, though, but we'll get to that eventually. So yeah, I did, I did a couple of things off camera. And yeah. Oh, and I also uh, got a chicken pet right here. He's very fast. It's hard to actually look at him. There's a free chicken pet on the store uh, that you can claim. I'll send, uh, or I'll put a link in the description of this video to the Wencraft store. So if you want your very own chicken pet, you can claim it. And there's also a couple of crates. I'll actually play some footage right now, so take some time to watch it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna activate my uh, like my crates and stuff. So let's yeah, see. I should do that. Wait, pets. I just gotta figure out what to Oh yeah, I forgot I have. I forgot I have my cream war uh war uh <coughs> libel or whatever you call it. Higher pet damage and all that stuff. Got our pet chicken. Yeah. Oh my. He what? <laughs> he is fast. Happy clock. Uh, manage crates. So we got a bonfire crate. Uh, click. Oh oh what? Oh, shoot. Okay. Click to stop items. Um... I got bouncy Wait, what? Feet. What did I get? I did too. What is that? Finally. It doesn't even take up that much space. What do you mean? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Stop items. Uh... Let's... Oh god. Ah, I'm dying. You know the dream face real thing is like in 15 minutes. Dang it. Okay, I got I got the slime effect. All right, now that you've seen some of the footage of what I did, uh yeah, like I said, I'll send a link in the description below so you guys can claim your own loot crates and your own free chicken pet. Everybody gets one and you can level them up. Uh, as you just have them by your side, I, I still get confused. Here we go. Yeah, just by having these by, by your side, fighting along with you, uh, you can upgrade them and they'll do more damage. So yeah, let's carry on and try and get to, uh, the Navila Forest, because that is our next objective. Oh, also I leveled up right before this video started, guys, so we've got, uh... 
We've got, let's see, skill points and an ability item that we can uh, use. So let's do that real quick, actually. So let's get our strength and our intelligence up and then go to the skill tree. Can we actually go back? Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. Go up and claim this one. Reduce mana costs on the bomb. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. And then power shots, increase speed and knockback. Mm. Oh wait, wait, we can't even, wait. Oh no, we can't, wait. Oh, hold up. I don't know if I did that right. Did I do that right? Unlock, oh, it'll block double shots, okay. That's, that's what it said. Okay, I got so confused. Yeah, the, I don't like, I don't like that one, to be honest. Some people were telling me not to go for the sharpshooter archetype, but I might still do it because that's what I was originally planning on doing. But I don't know, we'll see. Let's get going, guys. We should, uh, we should start heading towards the Nebula Forest, but first, let's see if we can claim that chest now. Yes, we can. Let's go. Get out of here. Also, there's a double XP going on right now. So we can... We're getting more XP as we go along. Let's actually repair our bow before we get a move on. This bow does give me more health, so it is kind of annoying when I lose health after letting go of the bow, only to just regain it. But it's whatever. Alright, so the Nivella Forest should just be up ahead. Whoa, what is that? Hold up. That's new. I have to check that out at some point. I actually do remember that, uh... Ooh, can't quite do that just yet. Okay, we discovered the Nivella Woods entrance. I actually do remember that Theric used to be here before, uh, before you entered. But then they moved him. Oh god, I always hated this place. The creepy spider design that they do on one of the bigger spiders is the worst thing. What's this? Oh, the Vila Woods. This forest has been infested with a giant um, mutant, or with giant mutant. Uh, I can't really read this all that much because of these zombies and such. Okay, let me try and do that now. Uh, mutant. Spiders basically for several or for countless years. They serve as the greatest obstacle for adventures on their way to that list So true. Oh that yep. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about those guys right there hate them. Why do they look like that? Ugh. I'm not totally afraid of spiders. I just hate the design of them sometimes Ooh, We can do this little mini quest. Let's do that. So we need to bring five forest webs to this sign. All right. How do we know when we have them? We have two of them. I guess we'll get those along the way and uh, return them here. But let's see if we can find the... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. We can talk to this guy and get started. Here we go. Hello, young traveler. Why, hello there. I was recently bit by a spider. Can you believe it? I know. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. He, he acts like this is just an everyday thing. It's like, I was bit by a spider. I know. Shocking. I can't believe it myself. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, I'm not fit enough to venture into an infested cave with creepy crawlies to get the medical herb cure myself. This man is basically just a celebrity that's lazy. He's like, I'm too fancy, and I can't, I can't be bothered to go into an infested pit of spiders to cure myself. I need somebody else to do it. <laughs> you look like you work as a soldier of sorts. We can clearly see that. You soldiers never had fashion as your strong suit. Uh, excuse me, sir. I beg to differ. I look rather dapper in my Halloween suit. So, uh, screw you. <laughs> anyway, the cave is a bit further away from us, but the only way through is in the rooftops. 
I started building a way up in this tree just behind me. Good luck. Okay, wow. So you built a passage to get up to where you need to get the cure, but you can't be bothered to do it yourself? This is a bra moment. How am I not hitting this spider? This spider's invincible! What is this? Okay, there we go, I'm hitting him. Okay, let's just let's just start climbing. Uh hardcore parkour. Here we go. Oh, what's this? A loot bomb. Alright. Interesting. Did we get anything from that? Oh. Pfft, crappy bow. Don't wanna don't want that. Let's keep going. I said this before when I first did this series and this specific oh, hello. When I first did this specific quest. But honestly, I don't know why, just climbing up the tree just gives me, like, Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit vibes. When he's, like, uh, when him and the dwarves are in the, uh, oh, here it is. Oh, what the heck? I broke through. Arrows from above. Oh, we got all the forest webs, that's good. Oh, the eggs are breaking. Nope. Blow them up. Ooh, one more level to get pet damage 3 for uh, my chick pet. It's got pet damage 2 now, we upgraded. Can I just blow these? Oh no, I'm stuck in a web. Ah, don't. Nope. Okay, they're trapping me in more webs. As I was saying though, uh, in the Desolation of Smaug movie, it's when Bilbo and the dwarves are all in the, uh, the Mirkwood Forest, and... Uh, and Bilbo climbs the tree to find the way out of the forest because they lost the path. But, uh... Oh, dang it. I don't even know if that's what you were supposed to do, but we did it. Okay, so we need to, we need to get this. Give... I did not mean to heal, I just wasted that. Okay, we got this, and now we can give it to the dude. Let's go. Oh wait, right click with this to open. It's like, here, you must open. Now that you have the ingredient, you can you can actually access the outside. Oh! And we're already level 9, let's go. I think my pouch is full. Oh no, it's not. Oh, he's talking. I've literally been sitting here for hours. Maybe not hours. At least five minutes. Oh, worry your little royal behind later. Here's your stupid cure. Thanks. Even though it took you a while, I'll give you a small reward. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Take that money and head to debt list, won't ya? You can maybe buy some better clothing, because you need it. This is a massive bra moment. Oh. Oh, I got to keep this as a crafting ingredient used for scribing and alchemism. Alright, cool. I'll put this in the ingredient pouch for now. Get off me. Alright, so we can head to debt list, but I wanna go return the uh the the silk or not the silk, the the webs, whatever. I wanna return those real quick because uh now we can actually do that. Oh, and we're just getting more. We're getting the forest webs, that's what they are. But yeah, Bilbo climbs the tree. Uh, to try and look for the, the way out of the forest because they lost the path until he gets ambushed by the spiders. That's what that whole sequence kind of reminded me of. But that's enough nerding about that. Let's grab the forest webs and return this. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We did it. We got the mini quest done. The thing that was always annoying about the Nabila forest, however, is just how many mobs there are. Especially when, like, look at how much loot I have. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do so much unidentifying. Uh, but for now, let's just use our skill points. Um, agility and dexterity. Easy. Let's get that going. Okay. I really need to, like, mess with the, with the, the banks some more. So, oh god, I didn't even notice that. Wait, that thing is moving. That's creepy. Alright. Save you guys the trouble and save me the trouble of editing. We're gonna use this. That did use up a soul point, but we are back. Okay. So, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna cut this part out of the video and come back to you guys when I've completely identified all these items. See you in a bit. Alright guys, we finally unidentified everything and I got quite a bit, however, the bows suck. And a lot of these are replicas, I've already got the skin cap. However, the 5% XP bonus I will take. And these pants don't seem to do much, however, these pants... I can finally wear the waist apron. And the chest plates are all eh. And also I can't even use a spear, so... That being said, we will scrap uh, two of these items. I don't want these boots, actually. Nor the, uh... The, I was about to say, did I have pants that I wanted to scrap? There we go. And we can repair this bow. And then sell the rest. There we go. Whew, our pouch is getting full. I think... Oh, it's about full. I can actually convert these into emerald blocks. I almost forgot that that's a thing you can do, even though I've played this for so long. How, how dare me? How dare I forget something so basic? Let's empty out our pouch here and convert these into blocks. Boom. It's just infinite money in your pockets. I love this. Alright, so the next thing on our agenda is to go to the sewers of Ragnai. There's a lieutenant that needs our help, so I'll see you guys when we get to that point. Oh, hold on guys. A on my way there, I found another... Uh, I found another key guardian. The more keys, the better. Let's kill this guy. There's also a little secret entrance thingy there, so I kind of want to see what that's all about. So let's get this key guardian out of the way and see what's up. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. All these dead remains. Oh, here we go. Got another potion, another key. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh. Creepy cave with skulls. Did I pick any of those up? Can I not pick these up? Okay, guess that's bugged. Can't pick them up. There we go, got those. Whoa, alright. Oh god. Mages. Oh jeez. Ah! How do I do arrow bomb? I don't know if I remember how to do that just yet. Okay, I'm healing. Heal. Yes, get him, chicken. Get him! Oh god. They do a lot of damage. Get the skeleton mage. Okay, he's down. Is there anything even on the other side of this? Is this even worth it? This does not even look where I am out of here. Heal. Ugh! Okay, this is not worth it. Nope. This is not worth it! We're running. We're gone. Goodbye. Ugh. Heal. Ugh. Whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Oh. Holy crap. Pick up all that loot, though. <laughs> Those guys do so much damage. Note to self. That was not worth it. There was nothing in, of value in there. Heal. Once again. And I still can't seem to pick that up. Alright. Moving on. I'll cut back when we get to the actual lieutenant this time. Alright, here we are, guys. Uh, this is the lieutenant I gotta speak to, I guess, because that is the decrepit sewers. Difficulty easy, requires level 9. The first dungeon of the series, boys, that's gonna be it's gonna be the episode 5 stream. We're going to do that, we gotta see what's up. So, uh, Gen Prest, what's, what seems to be the problem here? Soldier, good timing. We've been requesting help for ages. I have you now. Well, I finally arrived. Looks like we have a blocked pipe in the sewers. No wonder no one wanted the job. 
<laughs> right? Who wants to be a plumber? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I'm going to need you to get your hands dirty. I'll need some assistance with the blockage. Alright, sounds good. Meet me up the hill at the sewer entrance, just right in front of this big drain here. You know, the, the weird thing is, you can never tell what direction they're pointing in when they say, meet here, but thankfully I remember this quest, so just have to go along this way. I have to go up this hill. Also, it points a beacon, which is very convenient, because I I don't even have it set to track the things, but I guess it just does it for pure convenience. Oh, what? Ah, uh, you're already here. Coming up behind you, soldier. Oh, that was fast. Here's the brief. We get in, deploy small explosives to dislodge the blockage, and get out. Oh, sure. What could possibly go wrong? I forgot to mention this won't be without danger. There's all sorts of nasty things in this sewer. Keep your wits about you. Right, let's go. Alright, let's go then. I'm always ready. They call me Eagle Eye. Where did she go? Okay, I guess she went on ahead without me. Okay, get rid of these... Uh, mobs. It's so f okay, there is something there. Or at least a puff of smoke. And we're already level 10, let's go. Already 10% of the way to- I pressed the wrong thing again. To level 100. We're, we're one tenth of the way. <laughs> It's funny with the amount of creatures, like, as enemies that they can think of. Like, Corrupted Sewage being an enemy is kind of an odd choice, but it's it's kind of hilarious just to see that be a thing. Ah, yes, some good old parkour. Who doesn't love parkour? Oh! That was a person that ran across the thing. Huh. Where did he go? He just vanished into the wall. Oh, there she is. You mean to tell me you didn't see that? Do you feel like there's something lurking that doesn't want us here? Uh, I mean, yeah, I just saw that behind me. Is that what you're talking about? Anyway, I've found the blockage. It's right up ahead. Oh, sure. Anyways, moving on. Just completely ignoring that thought. <laughs> Here's a small explosive. I've placed one at the blockage already. If that alone doesn't work, use this. Uh, what am I using? Oh, what the- okay, I forgot that things start attacking you when you are not reading anymore. Okay, we got an explosive, so I guess it's up to us to, uh... Oh, okay, so we just go along this way. And we use this. Oh, what? Oh, I'm being moved. That didn't go- <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Richard! I'm calling this chicken Richard, by the way. You guys would understand if you knew that I named every chicken Richard. Richard, keep swimming! Hello! Okay, I saw that. I saw it. You guys saw that, too. I know you did. Wait, where's Richard? Did Richard despawn? Or is he not here? Oh, I've got air powder. Okay, cool. I was about to say, I've not gotten powder this entire- Oh, there he is! Hey, Richard. And you're level 3 now. Awesome. Let's keep going, though. I love that pets actually do assist you in this. Kind of reminds me of Star Wars The Old Republic. It's a Star Wars-themed RPG. If you guys haven't played that before, I highly recommend you do. It's a lot of fun. It reminds me of that. It reminds me of that because you get companions as you play through. And they obviously help you. They fight and assist you in battle. And... Pets were more like a cosmetic thing back when this first came out, but now they actually include them to, like, fight alongside with you, and I really like that idea. Okay, so I can use the arrow bomb as long as I'm not near, like, as long as I don't use it at my feet. I can still use it in distance, and it helps me without taking damage, so that's good. Alright, 
This bow is starting to lose durability. I hope I get a stronger bow soon. These guys just appeared out of nowhere. Out of here. <laughs> Melted. The Reaper's Bone. Okay. And we can right click to open the, the thing. Alright, the exit is open. Let's get out of here. And right click to break the... Oh, we can't shoot it. Break the pillar. Do I, do I have to do this empty handed? Oh, there we go. Got it. Alright, let's go. Last time this was timed, I don't know if it still is, but I'm not taking that... How did I fail the last jump? I'm disappointed with myself, guys. How did I fail that last jump? Are you kidding me? Okay, so I don't think it's timed, but again, I'm not taking my chances. Alright, whew. Oh, wait, is this the exit? Oh, cool. Oh, never mind. Wait, what is that weird stuff? Wait, oh, shoot! I forgot about that part. I forgot that you have to outrun the flood, or the... Excuse me? Okay, run, 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 run. Ah, we're straight up Indiana Jones again. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Wait, where did you come from? The water is still moving, that's felt that- oh, no, it stopped. Ah, you're alive. Looks like we underestimated the amount of sewage. I don't think the sewage was the issue. Let's get out of here. Do you still have the explosive I gave you? Uh, yes I do. Right here. Good. Let's use it on this wall. It looks like we can break right through. Alright, sure thing. You're just gonna stand right in front of that. Like, that's not gonna do any damage at all. Oh, wait. I forgot. How do we even come through this way? Like, how did that even- how did that even happen? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, I see an opening. Never mind. I always wondered that. But we unlocked it, guys. We did it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Did you just open that? Come here immediately. Uh... I hey, I did not open that. That was you with your explosive. So like, what are you talking about? Oh no. Huh? Engines are sealed for a reason. This one used to be the old Ragnai prison. The old Ragnai prison, you say? I mean, yeah, it kind of does look like that. It has a horrible history. People used to hide here during raids. Odd choice odd choice of a place to hide is in a prison. Rumor has it that Bob, the hero of Wen, was born in this very prison. Also an interesting origin story. Now only proven parties of soldiers may enter if one has slain a key guardian. I actually have one, but we're saving that for another episode. <laughs> You must go in and defeat the dungeon. That was... Oh, I forgot she gives you a key anyways. Alright. Oh. My chicken just spoke. It said cluck cluck. Okay, these keys don't combine for some reason. That was kind of weird. I don't remember her dialogue being like that. Where it's like, dungeons were a terrible place. You must go in and defeat the dungeon. But yeah, this is the, the stuff that we get to do, like, this is the stuff we get to get as rewards as soon as we're done with the dungeon, guys. So we're going to be doing several, excuse me, several runs of that in the fifth episode. So one more episode is to come before this, before we can enter the decrepit sewers. Um, let's see. So, honestly, guys... I think that's all the time we have for this episode. I'm sorry that I cut this one a bit short, but I really, really want to uh, get going on uh, the Decrepit Sewer soon. However, in the next episode, we will make our way to Debtless, hopefully, and uh, do any quests along the way, because I know there's a, there's a couple that we can do. And I'm probably gonna get to do some more stuff off camera try and uh, get some basic skills and stuff. Try and get a better bow at the very least. 
However, if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to drop a like. This series has been doing incredible. I'm so glad that you guys are supporting the return of this series. I have been looking forward to this for a very long time. And now that we are finally back and kicking things in motion, oh, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Especially when I get into unknown territory. Because right now I'm in the territory that I've already seen before. But hopefully we'll get into stuff sooner or later that I have no idea what's going on and just learn and have some fun with it as we go along. So yeah, with that being said, leave a like, comment down below saying you want more, say what your favorite part about this episode was, and uh, th don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. And this zombie is attacking me. Uh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. And turn on notifications, click that bell, so you never, ever miss all of my videos or streams. Have a great rest of your day or night, depending on where you live. And I will see you guys for episode four. Peace.